welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog and welcome to a place that is almost famous because of where it is located so this is the old head of Kinsale and this is where the Wild Atlantic Way starts now majority of my photography adventures are all along the Atlantic and the tourism board here in Ireland they created a fantastic initiative and they called it the Wild Atlantic Way it is 2,500 kilometers of roads that follow the entire coast from here which is the old head of Kinsale all the way up to the tip of Ireland in Donegal and it is an incredible drive I've jumped in and out of it many many times but it's something that a lot of people will come to Ireland just specifically for one bit of advice you will not do the Wild Atlantic Way in two days three days a week or two weeks you need a lot of time because the Irish coast is quite jaggedy so you have to go in and out and in and out and plus you want to stop and breathe it in and take in the atmosphere that is there for each individual location but today I've come here because the forecast is for a nice sunset. Now, if I look in the west over here, I have quite a lot of clouds, but that actually is giving me some crespicular rays at the moment, so I might grab a couple of shots at that. And also, you might have noticed I've got something else with me here, which is my Sigma 150 to 600. So below me here, there are big connollys of seabirds. And I was here probably five or six years ago, and I went down onto a cliff over here, which is where we're gonna go again today. And when I took some shots, I noticed that there was a lot of birds within the shots. So I said, okay, I'm going to bring this lens and see if I can pick out some of the action that's below on one of these jaggedy areas that's coming out here, probably here, I think, yeah. Um, and as you can see, the light now is changing on the background as well. So I think it will be quite nice. Although this cloud that's there, hopefully it's moving this direction, which means it'll free itself up for sunset. But fingers crossed, it could be a nice one. Anyway, I've stopped right here because I've got a lot of sea pinks that are just below me. And I think they're going to be a nice photograph. So I'm going to grab the first shot anyway here. I'll set it up and then I'll talk you through what I'm going to do from there. So yeah. Welcome to the start of the Wild Atlantic Way. So for the first shot, I went down low here because as I said earlier, I've got a lot of these sea pinks that are just below me. And it's really nice because they're starting in the bottom of the frame and then they're arcing all the way out to the edge of the uh, old head. One of the challenges here is that you can't really see the lighthouse that's at the very, very end of this. So it's a beautiful lighthouse, but unfortunately it's now on private land because there is a golf course between me and the lighthouse. It would be nice if I could actually see that, but I can't see that. I can just see the top of it here, but it's going to be incidental in the image. So for me, I was very lucky because I had light that was shining on the headland as well here. So there was nice depth into the image. And then there was two, two guys came along actually, and they were stood right at the end of the edge of the, high, of the cliff here and they both had their arms up like this so got a shot of that as well so it gives a nice scale i think it's a nice shot as well i got their details i'll send it on to them anyway so that they can actually have that image but yeah really nice there when i had the light but now it's gone behind a bank of cloud but there is a gap just around maybe six or eight degrees off the horizon so when it drops back down that i think i'm going to get another blush of color so yeah here's the first shot now i'm going to head over this direction and i'm going to uh, get some shots you might look behind me here you can see that there's a bit of activity happening so the coast guard is there hopefully they're doing some training exercises but they're going to be in my shot but i think it's going to be good too because i will be able to get some nice shots of them as they're abseiling down the side of the cliff so yeah quite an interesting start here at the old head of kinsale
Now I know I said I came here to use my long lens and I will use my long lens but um, I decided to take in some more of these sea pinks actually so I'm kind of drawn to the colour because it breaks it up nicely and there's a couple of sea pinks here and a couple of yellow flowers as well that are right below me on the edge of the cliff. I framed up the shot but they're going to be on the bottom and then this whole curvature is going to come back out here to the end of the headland. Um, I'm having to focus stack as well because these are rather close and obviously the distance being there I won't get that from a um, focal length point of view. So or depth of field rather. Um, settings are 1 13th of a second and I'm going to have the Coast Guard guys up on the hill. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be easy enough anyway to take out but uh, I might leave them in there as well. It does look like they're setting up to do some exercises over here so hopefully they'll be abseiling and I'll be able to get a couple of shots from them. But yeah I'm going to take this one now and then I spot another one over here while I have the, um, the wide angle lens on. I don't have any light. It would be nice if I had light in it because I think it would make it pop. I might come back to this again uh, once I do get a bit of light anyway but yeah I'll show you this one now and then I'm going to go over here to another composition that I spotted that I quite like because what I don't like on this is that I've got a big gap um, on the bottom left hand corner of the frame so it's just the plain ground and the stones I want to kind of fill the frame with colour if I can I think there's an area over here that I've been able to manage that on as well so yeah here's this one I'm going to go over here next and then I'll talk to you when I get there Now I have the long lens on, um, I'm finding it quite difficult actually because it is quite dark and dull. Now the sun still may come through those clouds, I'm not quite sure, there is a gap, I could see the light above it but it might be going off to the right hand side of it so I might uh, not be in luck. But nonetheless what I've done with the long lens is there's a single um, kind of stack that's out here and there's a lot of bird activity on it. So. I've kind of zoomed into that um, and I'm now at a portrait orientation kind of filling the frame with the top of the stack and then all the birds that are milling around that. I've done some video footage of it and I've taken some images as well and also below that you have another um, like a jagged knife edge effectively and a lot of birds as well seem to be coming around that too so similar to what I would have been when I was here the last time but now that I'm at my 600 mil I can really get in close to them. Now the settings at the moment here are settings that I'm not normally used to going for so first and foremost my ISO is at 1600 so I am going to potentially be dealing with noise even at 1600 the image looks dark and I daren't push it any higher because it's going to affect the noise. I'm at the widest I can go here at 600 which is 6.3 and my shutter speed is at 1 800th and I need to go fast because I want to freeze the action of the bird. I don't want any movement in the bird. Ideally I want to be at 1 1000 but at 1 1000 I'm going to have to 
bump up my ASO even further. Now also the Coast Guard here look like they're getting ready to start their uh, exercises so judging by the length of time it's taken to get set up I think it is an exercise hopefully anyway it is there's nobody that they're rescuing below here um, which is a possibility because it is an unprotected cliff with probably I don't know 100 meters of a drop or something like that but yeah quite impressive anyway but I am missing light fingers crossed it pops through that gap um, if it doesn't it might still light up the upper atmosphere here when it comes to sunset but I'll give you a look at the different types of shots that I've taken here I'm on high speed continuous as well by the way so there's a lot of shots that are happening but you know I'll pick out a couple anyway hopefully that will work out and they're not too much noise I might end up having to use the Lightroom noise removal as well quite a lot on this but I don't know um, if I get light it'll be great but either which way yeah here's these shots now I've waited around and I do not think I'm going to get any more light. But what I have done actually is I've taken some photographs of the Coast Guard. They are doing a training exercise. They're bringing a basket down or a stretcher down as a test. Um, and it's interesting actually just to look at them through the long lens and doing some video footage of them there now as well at the moment. Um, and you know that's something definitely different now from a sunset point of view I think I'm not going to get anything but I am going to wait it out because there is a small bit of a blush of color here on the cloud that's up above me uh, hopefully that will catch and that could make a nice finish to what has been an absolutely excellent day here uh, on a very calm evening as well the birds actually have been quite interesting too because they seem to leave in bunches together and then the racket that they make is incredible also so yeah i'll give you a look at some of the shots i've taken here of the um, coast guard abseiling down this cliff and uh, yeah i'll hang around anyway we'll see if the light will come along and i'll check back in with you either which way So as predicted I didn't get any light for sunset and behind me here you can see that I have nice nice pink pastel glow on the horizon which is sitting nicely on the scene and a bit of darker cloud as well above that which will act as a natural frame so I'll have that I'll have a bit of color I'll have the uh, cliffs in green great if I'd lighten it but I didn't have any light the uh, Coast Guard have finished their exercises so yes thankfully it was only a drill um, and yeah I really enjoyed here on the um, 
old head of Kinsale at the beginning of the Wild Atlantic Way. Like I said from the outset, it's a phenomenal stretch of coastline. If you ever want to come to Ireland, make sure you come and see the Wild Atlantic Way. You can't really avoid it anyway because everywhere you go, you'll see signs for it. But this is where it all starts. It starts here. So thank you very much as always for watching. Be sure to tune in next Wednesday when I will be doing my Behind the Raw, an episode where I'll pick an edit from here and I'll talk you through my edit on that. If it's your first time on the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange Folk.